Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Manny and welcome back to another episode and today we have for you another mystery tackle box and uh, I have already opened this so I already know what's inside. Uh, I was going to do a video the other day, just didn't get around to doing it. I started it, some things happened and it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and um, pull this stuff out and start the video. So. Um, without further ado, let me get the scorecard out of what our um, prices of our um, package uh, costed us. So um, here's our uh, scorecard. All right. And excuse the noise, guys. I am currently uh, on a route today. I'm working my way back home. I am in Goodyear, Arizona picking up a load so you're gonna hear trucks passing by it's kind of warm roll the windows down a little bit just so that you wouldn't have too much shaking and uh, shaking going around with the cameras but uh yeah so we have our you know our basic um info and everything that comes with the package um again some of that guggen uh info and you know some some reading knowledge uh there for you guys um let me put this stuff aside here without dropping everything all right so let's see what is the first item out of the box um put it away already didn't even finish that yet or wasn't finished with it yet so the first one on the um list here is a lucky craft um no is that the wrong one no lucky craft hogan uh bait and that one is this one here um so it is a uh weighted crankbait heavy weighted crankbait there's some info in the back for you guys if you choose to pause and read that and uh, yeah man not bad the box um, wasn't really what I was looking for but you know what uh, some of these um, items again you know that's the whole point uh, with um, using the mystery tackle boxes you're using stuff that you normally wouldn't use um or normally wouldn't pick up so um i mean it is what it is but that one um 14 dollars 99 cents 15 dollars for that lure um so yeah i'm look, just looking at the list down here and i do have another camera set up to give you guys a little bit of a better um focus on on the info um that i'm trying to show you or the item should i say um the next one is the live target glass minnow bait jerk bait this one was pretty cool i really did this one so this one is like a it's made to look like a um uh, a school a uh, school of shad maybe um school of baits um so this is pretty cool man and here you have it so it's like a, a 3d so it's like this will be a one fish two fish three fish um, kind of lure and all it is is a walking bait but it's pretty cool how they did that man if you guys can see that that is pretty freaking awesome so this will be your top water bait Some info there try not to get this light in your eyes man let me turn this light off right here hopefully you guys can pick that up better get the glare out of it but um yeah man pretty pretty awesome that one was uh, a nice one I really dug that okay the next one um, and that one runs uh, uh, $13.99 and I'm trying to I'm looking down at the camera over here and I forget which one I'm talking to um, the next one is called a uh, hyperlastic uh, dart spin 
$8 for that one. And it's this one here. Uh, I don't have the weighted hooks for this, but um, these are them here. And here you have it. It is a 5.5 uh, diving bait, I guess, right? And then, if you guys can see there, it's got the holes for the hook and the uh, the um, weight of the hook. Pretty awesome. Then you got the. Uh, I believe that's a willow blade, right? I think that's a willow blade. Anyways, uh, and I think that's what it's a uh, underspin. Yeah, it's an underspin. All right, and the next one is called the Bomber Long A, that runs six dollars forty nine cents. And it's this one here. Is this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's this one here. And basically another topwater walking bait. And this be it here. Pretty cool. So I've never thrown these baits before. Um, any of these kind of walking baits, jerk baits. Um, this one just like the, the Shad School one. They're both jerk baits. Walking jerk baits. And um, yeah, I've never, I never, I've never thrown any of this stuff before. Um, but I can't wait. So that be that. The next one is the Lighthouse Lure Mini Shad that runs five dollars ninety nine cents, and I believe it's this one here without dropping the box yeah and these are them there this is um i don't know this is a bait i probably wouldn't have picked up or purchased but again you know they sent them because they obviously work right um interesting interesting and uh, I haven't opened them, so I don't know if they've got the slots for the hooks. I can't tell from here, but yeah, that's that. All right, and the next one is the Panther Martin Deluxe Fly Spinner that runs $4.49. You guys know that I've uh, recently caught one of my um, um, rainbow, I think it was a rainbow trout or a brook trout, I don't remember. Um, on a uh, inline spinner, I've got a few panther martins and some uh, rooster tails, and this is this one here. Some info on the back. Okay, the next one is um, the Boss Cat Octopus Circle Hook that runs $4 even. And I, what did I get from Boss Cat? I think I got one of those um, those scented stick ones where you put like the, the stinky bait into them. Um, and it's these ones here. pretty cool shows you how how to rig it up but um yeah pretty stout and yeah these hooks look pretty thick man the next one and last out of the box is called the mustad peak bait holder hooks um again remember a lot of these uh or my box should i say is a mixture of um uh, a variety pack of lures you know it's it's a um, uh, 
panfish and bass um, and catfish box but that is it guys that is everything out of the box gotta end this video it is freaking hot in here i'm starting to sweat it's a bit humid outside because there's been pissing down rain out here uh in in the summertime heat in arizona that's just the way things are out here but that is it hope you guys enjoyed if you guys like what you see please like favorite share subscribe and i will catch you on the next episode later guys